going to tell you how to become a trade union representative. So let's get it going. Hi and welcome to this episode of the forum. My name is Scott Haslam and I'm your Vice President of the Leeds No. 1 Amalgamated Branch of the Communication Workers Union. Our videos include trade union related news, interviews and tutorials like this one. So if this is your first time watching or haven't already, please consider subscribing and hit the bell symbol to be notified when we upload future videos. In this episode, I'm going to cover an overview of what a trade union representative or rep role is and how to become one. Future episodes in this series will cover who to contact and details of agreements that as a CWU rep you will find useful when representing your members in the workplace. This is our commitment from the Leeds Number no. 1 Amalgamated Branch to give our reps the best possible support and access to as much information as possible. Check out our video what's to come in 2019 for an insight of next year's videos. So what is a trade union rep? Well in its simplest form a trade union rep is a member of a union who represents and gives advice to colleagues when they have problems at work. But the reality is that a trade union rep does much, much more than just to do this. Have you heard of the cliche, prevention is better than the cure? In this respect, a rep will try to prevent problems arising in the first place. At the end of the day, no one wants to be out of pocket or sat before their manager answering a conduct charge. So ensuring best and safe practices to protect members from accidents, for example, is all part of that prevention. It's worth being aware, depending on the specific union and its rules, a rep may be appointed or may be elected. The CWU is a democratic union and its reps on the front line are entirely elected. It also makes the CWU a unique union because we have the right to representative on every shift at every office that we represent in this country. In future videos I'll go into why this is the case and the industrial relations framework specifically. In addition to frontline industrial relations reps or IR reps there is an opportunity to become a workplace safety rep or WSR or a branch official. Now all positions available to members will be displayed at their workplace and on our Facebook page. IR reps and WSRs aren't paid but they do get to pay time off to perform their work as a role. Branch officials, however, do not get the same. Now, for me, being a trade union rep and your vice president is a real honor and something I thoroughly enjoy. Being a trade union rep is a very challenging role, but the sense of achievement when you help someone is an incredible feeling. I've been a rep now for more than 10 years and in the beginning, the role was a little daunting uh, but the training and support I was given has meant that I've grown in confidence being given opportunities I never thought was available and have made a real difference in my workplace. And on that last point, this is our bread and butter. It's what we do in the workplace for our members that really, really matters. So have you decided you'd like to become a trade union rep? Let me know in the comments below and then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the videos in this series that will help and support you on your journey becoming a rep. The next thing you need to do is to join the union you wish to become a representative. So if you're not already a member of the CWU, there's a link in the description to, to join. The next thing you need to do is to apply for an advertised or vacant role you're interested in. Now, it's not a simple case of just sending a CV, but rather due to the democratic process, you would need a member in your workplace to propose you and another member of that workplace to second you as a candidate for the role you wish to apply for. Our branch representatives are elected every two years and this week is when the advert is released to the workplaces for all members of our branch to have the opportunity to apply. Any ballots triggered due to more than one applicant per position will be performed in the new year and the results are declared at our annual general meeting, the AGM, at the end of February. Successful applicants would take up their roles after the AGM. You can request the nomination form from the branch office and the nomination form must be completed and returned to the branch office by noon the 7th of January 2019. So check out the description below for details of the for the branch um, and everything that I've referenced in this video. Please like this video, subscribe if you haven't already and please share this with your friends on social media. Remember, unity is strength. Thanks for watching.